Hi, preschool friends. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Beam Reads. I have the last book in the What Do You Do With a series. This book is called What Do You Do With a Chance? We've already read What Do You Do With an Idea? What Do You Do With a Problem? This is a book about what you do with a chance. This is written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Basin. What do you do with a chance? One day, I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance, I wondered. What do you do with a chance? It fluttered around me, brushed up against me, circled me as if it wanted to grab me, as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back. So my chance, it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. Courage is when you are brave. Sometimes you have to be brave to take a chance. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. Try it. You may like it. I went to reach for it, but I missed and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry, what if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. And I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I need to be brave. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. He's all dressed up and he looks like he's ready to go on an adventure. Sometimes taking a chance is also an adventure. Then one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible, I hoped? Could this be my chance? I had to find out, so I ran as hard and as fast as I could toward it. 
I don't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fear, I was full of excitement. I was ready to take my chance. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. Ta-da! Will he take it? Let's find out. But this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it, and I held on with all my might. He took the chance. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. Now I see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. The End, as read to you by Mr. Beam. I wonder what kind of chances you'll take this week. Maybe you'll take an adventure with your family. Who knows? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more stories later on. Have a good day.